Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to be sharing our favorite books that we read over the summer. And I will go first. My favorite book is from DC Comics, Super Villains. It, it has a forward by the Kevin Smith, which is awesome. And it goes through all the, the backstories and uh, histories of the baddies from DC. I know, exciting, right? And I also want to show you my favorite page, which is Evil Overlords. Ooh. All right? Okay. So next person up to share, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna call out your names. Please be organized, and don't throw your books at me because that's a no no. We're gonna be calling on Andy. Andy. Yeah. What was your favorite book? My favorite was the DC Comics variant covers. That has some of the finest variant covers ever produced. Really? Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pop this bad bad boy open. Oh. Yeah. Look, I have the luck. That's awesome. Wow. Nice. All right. Next up, we have Bree. My favorite book. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite book was The Anatomy of a Metahuman because inside The Anatomy of a Metahuman, Batman discusses his theories on the anatomy of his metahuman friends, including both his allies and his enemies. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to turn this book around so you can see. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. If you actually see a, a detail shot, it's got the whole skeleton underneath. Awesome. All right, wait, I'm going to, let's flip open. Oh. Whoa, that's pretty gross. All right, but cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Bree. Me, 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 me. Crispy. I have James Cameron's story of science fiction. Oh, I love that one. And it's all about the masters of science fiction, including people like George Lucas and Guillermo del Toro. Nice, look, there's a shot with one of the directors in the back. That is awesome. Random page flip over. Oh, oh, oh precious. How mm. appropriate. Oh, yeah. Nice, <laughs> okay, that is awesome. James Cameron's story of science fiction. Right. Okay, me. Okay, me. Andrew. Me. We discussed this. Me. You shout out. Okay, Andrew, let's go. My Here favorite go. is the Game of Thrones storyboard book, and it has really fantastic behind the scenes footage, pictures, Slip and concept cover. art. That's awesome. Okay. Oh. Oh. Spooky. That's cool. It's got a, a gloss hit on the back of the book. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Open it. Right. See it? <laughs> Open it. Random cover. Random cover. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna put this back before I mangle it. All right, next, Chrissy. The Art of Mondo is my choice because it compiles the remarkable back catalog of Mondo Studios and features some of the biggest and best loved pop culture franchises. Nice. Ooh. Oh. Zombies. Zombies. Ooh. Zombies. Sharks. 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 I, we, I have like the good page draw today. I have very cool <laughs> Do another one, do another one. Do another one. All right, so we're gonna have a double flip. Let's see if I'm equally as lucky. <gasps> oh, oh. oh. I love that. that <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, that was Mondo, the art of Mondo. There we go. And I think I have Amy two books because they books? go together. Um, these are the Warcraft, World of Warcraft and Hearthstone official cookbooks you that don't feature. Get, you don't get extra credit for this. Oh, okay. I, okay. Right. <laughs> they feature recipes from across the realm of Azeroth, whether you fight for the Horde or for the Alliance. Nice. Now, I, I always think that when I get a, a cookbook, I can cook in like five minutes. I feel like I can just skip some. Instructions? Whoa. That's for <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate. Beneath for the coffee grounds. That is awesome. I'm like telling you, I'm picking all the pages today. Awesome. We're gonna leave that here. World of Warcraft official cookbook. Ready? Stew. Wait, I got stew? <laughs> Try again. Can't win it. I was going for the chicken I'm on the front. A cake. Roast. Yay! Yay! That is awesome. What is that one? 
That is the cho chocolate cookies. Does it have a name? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is cool. Little skirt there and everything. I thought those were pointy horns. Is it? No, I think they're horns. We'll have to look. I think they're horns. They're not, yeah. It's part of the, I think it's like a creature or something. That's pretty cool. All right. Thank you, Amy. Now I'm hungry. Darn it. <laughs> awesome. And we have Robert. Me. Yeah, I was going to leave you out. Well, All right, what you one, got? One of the founding members of Industrial Light and Magic explains how scenes and beloved models were brought to life in Sculpting a Galaxy inside the Star Wars model shop. And I am going to turn this around because it's got a beautiful picture. Oh. Isn't that cool? Nice. All right, we're going to do a couple of random page opens on this. Oh, like a classic, nice. right? Yes. Ah, yes, Morgan. Oh, nice sound effects. That's awesome. All right, we're gonna have one more page turn. Nice. You can't get you can't get better than that, right? Awesome. That is sculpting a galaxy in star inside the Star Wars model shop. Thank you, Robert. Awesome. We're gonna put this right here. Okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing your favorite books. I appreciate you guys to keep the time out of your work day. Woo! And if you'd like to see why we love these books we chose over the summer, please go to the link below at side.show backslash read insight. Again, that's side.show backslash read insight. Yes, I promise snacks. Yes, you will get snacks. So we're gonna go.